So just to say that I do realize that what I will say now might seem to be unreasonable and not fair and inaccurate. But I do think that what I will say is correct and is an accurate description of the way things are in the world. And what it is, is um, looking at the behavior of men and women in the world and the actions and the roles of men and women in the world. To put it very bluntly, not at all accurately, to put it bluntly, it seems to me that women produce children. They do the awesome job of producing children. Incredible effort in making it possible. And that is what I think the main thing in the world that women do. Men, on the other hand, have a different role. Men, to put it very bluntly, essentially do everything else that is important in the world. So women do the incredibly important job of bearing children and raising children. And men essentially do everything else that is important in the world. They're responsible for most of the things that are important in the world that need to be done. As I said, this is extremely blunt and may seem unreasonable, but I do think it is an accurate way of looking at things. I'm thinking you're watching me now talking on a phone or on a computer, and that's possible because of the work of men in managing the technology and building the devices, constructing the machines, the electricity supply, the cabling under the ground, the wireless networking, all of the technology to make it possible to see me talking now is managed by men. You're watching on a computer or a phone constructed by men. And you're sitting in the chair built by men. If you're on a, watching on a computer, the computer's on the table constructed by men. And you're in a room which is in a house or a flat which is built by men. And the electricity come into the house or flat or whatever is supplied by men and made possible by men. The technology to make me appear to you on the screen of your device is made possible by the work of men. The programming to make the computing work. All of the manufacturing and the programming is managed by, by men. It's simply the way it is. And this is not any kind of competition with women or better or worse or anything like that. This is simply a description of the way things are and giving credit where it's due and an analysis of how things are in the world. So to put it very bluntly indeed, women do the incredibly important job of manufacturing children. Men do essentially everything else. I'm very busy, can I just finish what I'm doing? Thank you very much. So that was a member of my care staff who was looking out for me. So I've asked him to give me some time to continue speaking. So I was saying that women produce children and raise children and make it possible for humanity to survive. Men do essentially everything else. And it is simply a description of reality and the way things are. And there's not any disparagement of women. 
there's no unfairness going on. This is simply the way things are. I think men are not given due credit for the work that they do. As I said, the screen that you're watching me on is built and constructed by men. The power supply for it is managed by men. The room that you're in is built by men. The home that you're in is built by men. All the electricity and the cabling, the communication networking is managed by men. The programming for all of these systems, the computing power, all of it is managed by men. It's an incredible effort. Building the city that you're in, the roads and the cars and the trucks and the trains and the aeroplanes, everything is the work of men. This is recognition of the work of men in the world. Recognition that never normally happens. So I think it should happen and that's why I'm doing it now.